Hello everyone, this is the Duke Channel. My name's David, and you all know Mardi Gras. And today I want to talk a little bit about why I don't like to use retractable leashes. If you don't know what a retractable leash is, it is, it is, it is basically a tape measure <laughs> that you attach to your dog to measure how of an owner you are. So. I did have to break up a dog fight a while back. It wasn't, it wasn't Mardi Gras, as you know. She is too sweet to get into a fight. And this was a dog that I had been wa walking back when I started out as a dog walker. And what happened was this dog had been reactive to other dogs. It had some insecurity issues. I don't know. Anyway, so I was walking this dog. It was sniffing some bushes. And all of a sudden it just bolts to my right. And the handle on the retractable leash, as you can see, is super smooth. So it just flung out of my hand. And I look over and I see that the dog that I was walking is bolting towards this lady with this other smaller dog. And I didn't even know they were there. The other dog was just sniffing its own grass. It was still in its own yard. And the dog that I was walking just bolted straight at it. The lady started yelling. The other dog froze. And the dog that I was walking just ran right into it. It just, you know, just collided with the other dog. And I saw them flip over. And I'm already running towards them. And I see the dog that I was walking is got the other smaller dog by the back of the neck. And it's just holding it on the ground, just pinned to the ground. And the lady who was walking the smaller dog is screaming and yelling. And she's trying to grab the other dog's part. But she ended up getting bit on the hand. So what I saw, what I, what I processed was I see the dog I'm walking is holding the other dog by the back of the neck. I don't know what the dog I'm walking is going to do. The other dog is flailing around, you know, mouth is open, trying to get loose. My thought process was that when I've seen videos of dogs like or hunting dogs or wolves, or dogs that are trained to catch rats, when they're trying to actually really hurt something, they don't just grab it, they grab it and shake. And that was something I did not want to let the dog that I've been walking happen. I didn't know if she was going to, I just wanted to make sure that she didn't even get a chance to think about it. And in order to separate them, I also, you know, in the middle of all this, I, my thought process was, I do not want to put my hands where I know dog teeth are. That's just gonna get me bit or the high risk of any bit. So instead, what I did is I ran over to my dog, the dog that I was walking, and instead of going for its mouth, I kind of put it in like a little headlock, kind of like this. I wasn't squeezing, I just grabbed it and tried to immobilize it to make sure it could not shake. And when I, and then I, I put my weight on it, so I was laying on it to hold it down so that it wouldn't shake, it didn't have room. And that actually got the dog that I was walking to let go. And the lady that was walking the other dog immediately picked her dog up and started checking it to see if it was hurt and took it inside. And I just laid there with my dog until it was calmed down and honestly until I had calmed down. Now, the good news of the story is that the other dog was not hurt. It didn't have any marks on it or anything. So, and that's one of the many reasons I do not like retractable leashes. Now you're probably thinking, if I had just kept a stronger grip onto the retractable leash, that the dog wouldn't have gotten away from me. Well, this is what it looks like when you have a firm grip on the retractable leash. Your next thought is probably, well, if you just pay attention the whole time, then you won't have to worry about the dog getting away from you without you noticing. But you can't be paying attention 100% of the time. I mean, there's gonna be times where you need to look for traffic or lo lock your front door. I mean, and I was looking straight at my dog when she got away from me. The leash that we ended up switching the dog that got away from me to was a traditional rope leash that's only five feet. The length of leash that we walk Mardi Gras with is a 10 foot traditional rope leash because she never runs away from me, because she's such a good girl. Now with these traditional rope leashes, you can pretty much feel almost any movement that the dog makes, and they can't go very far before it gets tight. 
However, with retractable leashes, some of them can get as long as 26 feet. That's long enough for a dog to cross some residential streets without its owner. And because the leash spools out on a wheel, sometimes it can be so smooth that you can't even notice that the dog is moving until it reaches the end of the track. Now I'm not a physics professor or anything, but you can clearly see how much extra length the dog has to get up to full running speed, potentially without you even noticing, which is why we end up seeing things like this happen. Instead of using a retractable leash, what kind of leash should you use? So my wife and I, we had done some research on leashes for our own dogs when we wanted to get them. And we just did not want retractable leashes. We didn't want choke chains, prong collars, anything like that. So we found this great leash um, from Wilder Dog. And this is a great style of leash that we like. So instead of the smooth retractable leash handle, this has, this is just a rope with a thick knot here. And what I do is I slide my hand through here and grab onto the knot. So it's much less likely to just, even if the knot slides out of my hand, it's gonna catch right here. And I'm gonna feel it before it gets to that point. And the, I love this, the way it's hook, it hooks onto the leash or the harness. It's a spring-loaded carabiner with a screw-on spot. So, that's not coming loose. This is like something you'd go rock climbing with or something. So, in conclusion, traditional leash, good. Retractable leash, bad.